This is the boiler room in my house. I have a 2,500 square foot house and I have six zones in that in this house, six different thermostats and six different rooms. And uh, I hadn't had any problems. Well, the furnace just fired up. You can hear it's working. I hadn't had any problems, uh, well, about five years after we moved in, I did have a problem with zone two. And it turned out what I had to do was replace the motor. So there's a motor right here. And I had to replace that motor. And that was around 2004, I'm going to say. So about 16 years ago it's now 2021 anyway I'm going to take you to the other room and show you the two zone valve assemblies I bought back in 2004 off of eBay and they're the exact same number as this as this one here you, I've got it it's upside down but you can just probably still read it V 8043 E1012. Okay, I'm going to go in the other room where I have those uh, two replacement zone valves. Okay, we're in here where I, what I call a game room. And uh, these are the two zone valves that I bought. Uh, I think it was 2004. I don't remember how much I paid for them. I bought them off of eBay. Anyway, I they were wrapped in paper and they came in that priority mailbox there. Anyway, I uh, and I think you can see here. V8043 E1012, same number. So I took the motor off of this one back around 2004 and uh, I just bought these replacement switches here you can see that it does uh, screw in there and you have to put this cardboard cover on there but if I put the cardboard cover on there then you can't see the you can't see the uh, micro switch so you can see here, I, I, I made a note to myself, I robbed the motor and the micro switch, but still has a new valve. So this is the valve here, the new valve, which I've removed from, from there. When it comes, it's all one piece with a wiring harness. So the second one I bought, uh, you can see I made a note here to myself, Rob the micro switch still has a new motor and valve. So there's the new valve. I took the micro switch off. You can see the micro switch is gone. And the motor is, is this is a brand new motor. So I've got a replacement motor. Like I say, I bought these back in, uh, 2004 because my motor had burned out on zone two and I just went ahead and bought two of them thinking well I'm going to need another one if that one only lasted about five years then I'm going to need another motor one of these days but uh, this is uh, 2021 22 years later and all the motors are still working the only thing that happened just here recently, uh, November of this year, is the two micro switches burned out. One burned out in zone two, and one burned out in zone uh, uh, zone four, five, I believe it was. Zone five just happens to be this room, the game room. Anyway, uh, I'm going to show you a way that you might be able to actually fix your micro switch 
And I'm going to call it a temporary fix because I don't know how many cycles it'll go through, but it might get you through a cold spell if your micro switch goes out. You can take them apart, and I'm going to show you how I took mine apart, how I bent a spring inside of there. There's no electrical components in those uh, micro switches. They're mechanical. It's just a set of points that opens and closes. And uh, basically, whenever you push this button on this particular one that I bought as a replacement micro, micro switch, has a red button on it. And uh, when I, if you push that red button in there, then you get continuity across this post and this post here. In the, the state that it's in right now, that button is sticking out. If you were to try to measure continuity across those two posts, you would not get continuity. The button has to be pushed in. And it gets pushed in by the motor. When the motor turns, it turns that arm inside of there. You see that arm? It's kind of hard to push because of the springs. You see those springs down in there? But they got a lever on the bottom. And you can... Uh, Oh, I've got that, that one in uh, the locked open position. So you see that lever moving as I as I move the as I move this lever down here, you can see that arm inside of there moving. And what it's doing, it's opening and closing that valve, that black ball valve down in there inside of there. If I take this one, which I've got completely off, you can take them off by undoing these screws right here. So, you can see the valve, and if I turn this arm, you see that valve moving in there? As I, uh, as I turn the arm, So, there the valves open, there's the valve close. Open, close. So when the motor turns, it opens and closes that valve. And this arm over here goes all the way up whenever the motor turns and it contacts that button to close the circuit on the micro switch. So I'm going to show you how I can how I took my micro switch switch apart while I googled and tried to find a micro switch source because uh, two of them burned out in the same week early November and I had to use the old well they're brand new but I say old because I bought these back in 2004 but I robbed the micro switch Rob the motor and the micro switch off of this valve, uh, valve assembly and off of the other one, Rob the micro switch still has the new motor. So if you don't have replacements handy, this video might come in handy on how you might be able to take apart that micro switch, bend the spring down, uh, put it back together. And it, I, you know, it might work for 10 cycles, it might work for a hundred, it might work for a thousand, it might work for 10,000. I have no idea how long it'll work, but I did bend the spring and it, and it, and it was working. It was working fine. But once I got my new uh, micro switches in and I had to do an alteration to them, I replaced that one that I, that I, thought I had fixed and I had fixed it. It was working, but I had no idea how many cycles it would work. Uh, like I say, it might have worked a hundred cycles. It might have worked a thousand. It might have worked 10,000. I have no idea. But all I did was bend the spring inside of there. So I'm going to show you that. 
So just real quick here before I get into how I repaired my old micro switch. This is a new one that I bought and the number on there uh, is V3-101. I got them off of eBay. I'll put a link in the description. And the guy sells them um, by uh, a lot of 10. So I bought 10 of them uh, for $19.99, I think it was, or $0.95. Cents. So basically a $1.99 each. But I think the shipping was three twenty-five dollars and tax and everything. Less than $25 for 10 of them, so less than $2.50 each. Which is a lot better than buying a whole brand new valve assembly for around $100. Or you can buy just this part with the micro switch and uh, a motor. Just this part here without the valve for around $65. Plus shipping and tax. Yeah, around 70 something. So with that, I'm going to show you how I uh, temporarily fixed my old micro switch. So today is uh, November the 3rd, 2021. I had some trouble with my uh, heating system and it turned out that this micro switch is, uh, was my problem. The other weird thing about this is that over here on this side, you see those little notches? I noticed whenever I was moving this wire that that post moved and that that post is pretty black. And the other post down here that's not used is pretty black. So I don't know, maybe... Maybe that's one of the reasons it quit working. But I'm wondering if I could take it apart. Because I can move this a little bit. I can feel it moving. You can see it moving. Uh, if I was to take this apart, see what's inside of there, I guess. So I was able to, this is the, the other one that was bad, which I kept. Uh, and I was able to get the cap off. And what's weird is that it appears, I know whenever I push this button and I measured for continuity, I did get continuity. So watch what happens when I push this button. You see that set of points that are closing over on the left-hand side? So the wire... That wire is soldered to that post. And then this part over here. The other wire is soldered to this part over here. So once that goes up there and that's that set of points closes. Now you've got a closed circuit which would give you continuity. But apparently there's something wrong with that spring. Because... I have to push it all the way in for it to make contact. And the one that I robbed, the brand new one that I robbed from the other one, I noticed I might only have to push it in about halfway. And then, it's, then it measures continuity. So I guess that little spring in there, you can see it moving. is worn out but there's nothing electrical it's just that spring it's just a mechanical thing i don't know if i could pry that spring down a little bit and make it start working again i'm going to pause it take another look at it I don't know, I might have fixed
fixed it. I thought I broke it completely, but I, I ended up taking this little black button out of there. Completely out of there. And then this thing... Well, I, I think what I tried to do is I tried to push down on that copper thing. That copper spring, I'm going to call it there. Let me see if I can get the... Uh, yeah, there it is. So that little copper spring that you see in there, I tried to push it down some, and it came undone from whatever it's fastened to. And then everything was loose in there. I could just take this black button that you have to push. It would just fall out of there. Everything was loose. But I managed to put it back together, and now whenever I push that black button, just a little ways, See that? How it's snapping up there? And I'm only pushing it a little ways, not all the way. So it may be fixed, but I don't know. I'm uh, going to put the cap back on and label this thing as maybe possibly fixed. It may be that that spring is worn out. Because what happens whenever it calls for heat, an arm comes up there and pushes this in, and it holds it all the way in. So if I push it all the way in, I'm just going to push it a little ways. You see that? Points are closed now. If I go on and push it all the way in, that's where it would be when that arm comes up there and holds it closed. Well, it might be that after it's been held in place for quite a while and this does get a little warm to the touch because of the hot water going through the valve that when it finally releases now you can see the points are broke open again if I go to push it just a little ways it, it closes right away I don't know it may be fixed I'm going to put the cap back on and label it as questionably or possibly fixed.